Hi there and welcome to my tutorial I'm going to do on Blender 2.8. We're just going to do some simple edit mode and introduce you to um, the very basic low polygon modeling with Blender. So we're going to start with just uh, the default Blender view. So I've got my cube in the middle here. Um, actually I'll switch on my screencast keys so you can see what's going on. So um, you should see on the bottom left hand side anything that I'm doing appears. So we're just going to make a really simple um, octopus now. An octopus, as you know, has got eight legs, so we are going to obviously not going to use this cube in the middle here. Um, we're going to just go straight to delete that cube. So if you hit the delete key or the X key, you'll be able to delete the selected object. And then we're just going to click on add and then choose mesh and then choose cylinder. So by default, you get this default cylinder. Now, if you if you move the cylinder, um, you lose the option to change how it is created. So if I was to move it right now, um, you'll see that the option to change it has gone. So if you have done that, you just delete it again and start again. We want a cylinder, obviously, that's got eight sides. So we'll click on Add, go Mesh, and choose Cylinder. And then down the bottom left-hand side, um, exactly where my screencast keys are, actually, um, you'll see some of the options that come up. So you click on the little arrow, and you'll get some of the options. So I'm going to change this to eight sides. So if you click on eight vertices, I'm going to change. I'll leave the radius at one, and I'll put the depth at 0 0.5. So you can actually just click on the box and type a value in. Um, and we're going to go with that. I'll leave everything else the same. Um, now we worked a little bit in the last series um, on object mode, uh, and we'd only went as far as using this uh, layout tab up here. And we're going to go a bit further now, so we're going to use um, the next tab on, which is modeling. So with this object selected, if you're happy with the, the layout as it is, we'll click on the next tab round, and we'll click on that modeling tab, and you'll see that the, the viewport changes. You get a lot more tools on the left-hand side that have popped up, and again, hover over any of them, you'll get to see what they do. Um, and then we're ready to start modeling. I'm going to do a little explanation before we uh, go into this, just so you can understand how it works. But you can see that all the little orange um, dots that make up the model, they, these are called the vertices, and um, these are basically the corners um, of the uh, of the model. Um, there are edges that go between the vertices, and there are faces that are made up of uh, usually four edges, but three or more um, edges make up one face. Um, and you need to be able to choose different, um, choose either the vertices, the edges, or the faces. And you can click left click on any one of them, and you should see, because um, we're in vertex select mode, that we can choose a vertex. And we have the same tools that we had before when we're moving objects around. So we can still um, move, and uh, while rotating a single vertex isn't going to do anything, and neither is scaling, but you have the same tools available to you for. Um, anything that you have selected and if you hold just like with objects if you hold shift and click um, you can select multiple things um, and you can perform operations on anything you have selected so it's pretty simple I'm going to just control Z and do those all right so um, just check why my screencast keys seem to disappear all right um, Right, we're going to start modeling now. So we'll see uh, the, the vertex select um, on the top left hand side next to where it says edit mode. We have vertex select, edge select and face select. And obviously um, each one of them, if you click to the left click, you'll select either the edges, the vertices or the faces. Now, because we're going to be working with this, um, this octopus, what we're going to do is choose the face select mode and click on one of the faces. Now, um, any model that we make, usually we have to create more vertices, so we have to we have to actually make more of this. And what we're going to do is just pull these faces out to make the legs. And we're not going to worry if it's going to be really blocky because it's going to be low polygon. But the way we do this, if you hover over um, some of these tools, um, we're going to use first of all this extrude tool. Um, this is one of the most common um, tools that you would use. If we click on that tool, you'll see that we get a little a little um, plus comes up, and we can click and drag. Um, to pull that face out and that works on any face so if you have any face selected you can click and drag and pull them out um, but we're just going to work on this one right now and because we want this um, the legs to not just go out straight what I'm going to do is just choose to rotate them as well so 
if you click on the rotate tab, um, the rotate tool over here, you can click and drag. And we want it to just rotate around the, the upper axis, the, the Z axis, the up and down. Um, that way we won't get it pointed heading off down the way or up the way as we pull out more extrusions. Um, the ex shortcut keys are really useful things to remember as well. So um, if you uh, want to use the shortcut key for this one, uh, the extrude is E and the rotate is R. So if you um, tap uh, R, you'll rotate, but we'll rotate relative to the view as you can see. So remember I mentioned that the you can see up here the Z axis is the up and down, so if I tap R and I tap Z, I'm able to rotate relative to the view. Um, one other little tip, if you're too close to the middle when you do that, you get this weird thing where you've got very little control over it. So the best thing to do is just leave your mouse on the 3D view, tap R and I tap Z and just rotate a little bit. And then I'm going to use E for the shortcut key. Again, R, Z, and then rotate, and then E again. Um, the last little tool I'm going to show you is just, uh, we're just actually we're just going to scale this one down. So I'm going to do one short extrusion and then tap S to scale. So we do have the scale tool over here um, that we could use. Um, if we click on the outer arrow and scale, we'll scale relative to um, the X, Y and the Z all at the same time, the uniform scaling. Uh, but the other shortcut is just the S key. And because we have this one face selected, it's going to scale this one face. I'll make, all the, make it point in like that. So I'm just going to um, pause. Uh, actually, I'll do one more. Uh, so we'll just go through the shortcuts. Um, so we do it nice and quickly. So we tap E to extrude. We can, I might leave this tool on, uh, so we can rotate it that way. The shortcut key would be R and then Z, just to rotate, and then E to extrude, R and Z to rotate, E to extrude, R, Z to rotate, oops, R and then Z to rotate, E to extrude, and then at the end it's going to tap E, and then tap S and just scale it down. So uh, yeah, pretty easy, nice easy routine. Now you need to practice this. You can remember that Control Z, you can undo it as much as you like and go back and start again. But your job is to finish off all eight legs and I'm gonna pause recording and uh, come back and show you how we can do the top part. Alright, so we've got the eight legs now, and we're just going to um, do the little head for uh, this octopus. So, uh, once again, we've got to select this face, and what we're going to do is pull this one out. So, if you, uh, you should be used to the shortcut keys by now, if you tap E, um, and we're just going to pull this up a little bit. We're going to tap E again, and we're going to scale it up, and then we're going to tap E again, and then maybe one more time, and this time scale it down a touch and then one more and scale it down and if you just zoom out and have a little look around um, if you're fairly happy with it you should be okay now there's a couple of little things I think I like mine I would like mine to be a bit bigger um, so what I'm going to do is I need to select these top ones so um, there's different 
uh, ways that you can do that. If you uh, were in Vertex Select, you need to select all of them. Um, you might need to be able to uh, select the whole thing uh, all at once. Um, now, one way that you could do that is to change the viewport uh, by uh, being able to look through and select them all. Because even if I use this box select up here and select all of them, you'll see it doesn't select the ones on the far side. Um, so we need to be able to see through because I want to select everything on here and then make it slightly taller. So um, over here that you can see the different viewport options and this says show x-ray um, and this one is wireframe. So um, the wireframe and the modeling and the solid, there's lots of different ways that you can view this. Um, the show x-ray is quite a good one because you can leave it on solid and still be able to see through. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, click away so that I've got nothing selected. I've got my box select on and I'm just going to select everything here. Now I want to scale it just up in this uh, upper way so I'm going to select the uh, scale tool and drag the blue arrow um, up. And I'm not going to mind too much if it goes like that because I know I can just drag it up once we're done. So that looks a little bit better and um, I'm going to get the x-ray off again so that I can see it as solid. So um, we have our little octopus now. He looks still a bit blocky and that's okay. Um, I pressed tab by the way there to go back into solid mode so I can see it. He's also, he's also not very smooth so I'm going to show you one last thing before we finish this video and you can have a little go at um, playing around with the extruding and scaling. Um, the modifiers tab over here, while you're in modeling view, um, even in edit mode, the modifiers tab over here um, is uh, the one that's set up by default. Um, you can find it uh, down in, it looks like a spanner, um, and you can add uh, the modifier of subdivision surface, and what that does is it smooths the whole thing out. So you can see that even though you've got um, the mesh on the outside, the inner mesh is a lot smoother, and you can change, uh, don't change it too much, but you can actually change this up a little bit as well, so you can make it even smoother. Um, so uh, leave it maybe maximum of two um, and then we'll go to the uh, back into object mode so from edit mode choose object mode and you can see that it looks a lot smoother and a lot more like an octopus and um, to smooth it even further we can set the shading to smooth as well so if you right click on it you'll see the top option is shade smooth and all of a sudden the blocky looking um, edit mode octopus starts to look pretty cool. Um, we did materials in the last um, the last video as well but uh, just quickly to make it look a little bit nicer we'll add one material for it. So if you scroll um, go down to the left hand side here you'll see the sorry the right hand side you'll see this the context menu for materials. If you click on materials you'll see there's no material set up for this one. Um, there probably is a material in the scene um, so if you click there and click on the one material um, I'm going to change its name. It's always good practice to try and change the name of the material so that you can uh, recognize them. And I'm going to call this Octo. And then um, there's a bunch of options for uh, how shiny it is, how metallic it is. Um, the, the base color here is the one that we're just going to look for. So uh, I'm just going to click on this base color and I'm just going to make him a nice sort of pink color. And uh, we can change the brightness up and down. So I'll make this sort of a kind of a light pink octopus. Um, the You don't see it in this view because this is the modeling view. Um, and this is like wireframe, this is modeling. And this is the uh, the dev ops view, uh, look, look dev mode, sorry. And this is the rendered, fully rendered. So because um, we're using EV, it works at full time, at real time. So this bright pink material, you can see all the shininess coming off of it, um, including shadow. So uh, hopefully you understand a little bit more about modeling now. Um, the layouts are amazingly uh, useful in that uh, you lay out your object with the layout and then you start modeling with model. And in later tutorials, we're going to look at some of these other ones like UV editing, um, sculpting, texture paint shading. Um, all right, hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and good luck with Blender.